All right, so let's go over some of Mark's features for long form writing. Uh, the general feature set dedicated to this is called multi-file documents. And Mark handles a bunch of different ways that you can combine files together, allowing you to work in one file per chapter, for example, and not have to open up huge text files and try to navigate through them while you're editing. In this folder here, we have uh, five chapters, each one just being a randomly generated test file that I've created. Uh, in case you're wondering, these are randomly generated using raingrams from 1984, the book, George Orwell, you're welcome. Um, and then I create a single file called demo index and we can see what's in that file. Okay, here in the index file, it's a regular markdown file, but I use this syntax, this is Mark's special syntax for including files, and that's two left angle brackets or less than symbols and then square brackets surrounding a path to a file. This is specifically designed for markdown files or text files. You can't use this for things like uh, directly including an image. This syntax has the benefit, as you'll see, the others that we'll go over don't, this one can be nested, uh, so you can have chapter one included from the index here, and then in chapter one, you can include chapter two, and then in chapter two, you can even include chapter three, and they will all get included together with notation that they are nested, and you'll see that in a second. But if we open this file up in Mart, you can see that chapter one starts with the headline, enormous is absurd, so you can tell in the demo index here that Mark has included chapter one. Chapter two starts with the headline, Our Forces In. So if we jump to that, we can see that Mark has created a continuation of the document where chapter two was included in chapter one. And there are a couple cool tricks while you're editing these index documents if you hit command E, it's going to edit the main index file. But if you hit shift I, it'll tell you what document is currently in the viewport. And then hitting shift I immediately followed by return will edit that specific file. You can also visualize, and this is done with this menu item, show boundaries of included files or control command B. So I'm gonna hit that keyboard shortcut and this line appears on the left side. You can see the color changes between these two. So this is file one here and this is file two here. To see exactly what file those are, you can just hover and that'll tell you this is chapter three and this is chapter two. And you can see that chapter three is included in chapter two because the green there overlaps the purple. Clicking on that bar will open that specific file for editing. The other main type of index file is the LeanPub format, also MMD merge, both using pretty much the same format, which is just an indented list of files that should be compiled to create the book. If you want to use MMD merge, add a comment using the a hash mark. So uh, hash mark merge at the very top of the file will trigger Mark's handling of the MMD merge format. If in preferences in marked, you've gone to apps and enabled LeanPub support, then any file named book.txt is going to automatically trigger that formatting. So here we have uh, chapter one, chapters two and three are indented, so they are nested within chapter one. That does affect header levels. So if chapter two started with an H1 header by indenting it, now it's an H2 header and anything after it is, is raised by one level as appropriate. So if we open this up in marked, you can see we get pretty much the exact same file. Uh, this does not include the little headings that I had in the demo file saying marked syntax, marked code include, etc. because you can't use regular text in an MMD merge file, only included documents. 
but all of the same functions still work with the uh, visualizing chapters via the sidebar, uh, shift I, etc. I will also mention that multi markdowns uh, transclude syntax is supported using two curly brackets. And also IA writers block syntax is supported where if you on its own line start with a forward slash and then uh, either a markdown file or a code sample or an image, uh, you can even make it a CSV file and Mark will automatically convert it to a table. Mark figures out what type of file you have included using this block syntax and will automatically create the correct code for it. Okay, so there are a couple of other features I'll mention while we're talking about long form documents. Uh, the first being bookmarks. So as you're going through a document, you can at any point hit option and a number key. So if I hit option one here, it just created a bookmark for this headline, the moment O'Brien I can go to another point in the document. We'll just jump down to this headline and do option two. And that created a new bookmark. These are positioned uh, relative to their position in the document based on the entire height of the window. So I can jump between these by clicking them or I can hit the number itself, just one or two with no modifiers to jump between those. I can also add bookmarks by just hitting shift and the number, and that creates an exact bookmark. The option number finds the nearest headline and creates a bookmark based on that with an offset to get you approximately to where you were. It's the preferred option because it's a little bit smarter in the way that it can label them and handle jumping back to them. But either one works. Once you have them, you can use N to go through them in the order that they appear in the sidebar. If you use Shift N, it will go through them in numeric order. So one, two, three. Uh, you can also use P and Shift P to go backwards. If you press zero, it will generate um, a mini map, we call it, uh, of the entire document. So it's an overview as an image. And if you hold down the command key, you can magnify and then click to jump to a specific part or a specific kitten in this case. If you hold down the option key, you can scrub through the document and wherever you let go, that's where it's gonna jump to. Pressing zero hides that. Uh, pressing X twice, so just XX, will delete all current bookmarks. The other feature that might be of interest in a document this long is auto scroll. So press S to start scrolling the document automatically. The right and left arrow keys will speed up and slow down the rate of scroll. Pressing space will pause, space again to play. If you type shift S, you can reverse the scroll and just pressing S again disables it. So those are a few of Mark's capabilities when it comes to long form writing. Enjoy.